Welcome to Atlantean Astrology. Here we dive beyond the ordinary and unveil the secrets that lie within the cosmos. This channel is a portal to the unknown, where ancient wisdom meets modern understanding to guide you on a journey through the stars and beyond. Join us as we open the mind's eye to the infinite, exploring the mysteries of the universe and the eternal truths that shape our lives. Embrace the adventure, unlock hidden knowledge, and discover what the universe has waiting for you. Mary Magdalene, the bearer of hidden wisdom in the Gospel of Mary, section one of seven. In the world of form and shadow, where faith clung to the comfort of the visible and doctrine held authority, a voice emerged, a voice so quiet and so radiant that it defied the expectations of those who listened. This voice was Mary Magdalene's, not as a mere disciple, but as the bearer of a profound hidden wisdom, one imparted by the teacher himself. In the Gospel of Mary, Mary stands before the disciples as a vessel of divine truth, a guide to mysteries that surpass the boundaries of law and tradition. She is not there to lead in the conventional sense, but to reveal, to call each soul to its own hidden potential, to the divine knowledge waiting to be awakened within. The teacher spoke to me. She begins not of doctrines or commandments, but of the nature of the soul. He revealed to me a truth that lies beyond law and belief, a truth that each of us carries within waiting to be remembered. In this first revelation, Mary introduces a radical understanding that salvation is not an external condition, but an inner awakening, a remembrance of a light that has always been within. The disciples, accustomed to seeking guidance outside themselves, find her words unsettling yet deeply stirring. She is not offering them a map to follow. She is pointing to a light that lies within each of them, a truth that they must come to know for themselves. Mary's words carry them into a vision of the soul's true nature, a nature that is not defined by sin or guilt, but by an innate connection to the divine. She speaks of a soul that is whole, unbroken, and complete, a soul that is not in need of redemption, but in need of awakening. For Mary, the journey to the divine is not about seeking something outside oneself, but about peeling away the illusions, the layers of ego and fear that have obscured the truth within. The teacher showed me, Mary continues, her voice soft yet filled with conviction that we are not separate from the divine. The light we seek is not in some distant heaven, but within us waiting to be recognized. This is the true nature of the soul, not bound by sin, not enslaved by fear, but free, radiant, and one with the source. The teacher revealed to me, she says, that our suffering comes not from the truth, but from the illusions we have accepted as truth. We feel separate because we believe ourselves to be separate. We cling to fear because we have forgotten the light within. To awaken is to see through these illusions, to remember that we are already whole, already free. This is the essence of Gnosis, a knowledge that does not depend on words, on doctrines, on any external authority. It is a knowledge that arises from within, a knowledge that cannot be given but only remembered. Mary's role then is not one of authority, but of invitation. She is not there to impose a new doctrine or to replace the teacher. She is there to show them that the teacher's message was always about awakening to the divine within. In her presence, they begin to feel the stirring of this truth within themselves, a light that has been waiting for the moment when they would turn inward and recognize it. This is the first gift of the Gospel of Mary, an invitation to see beyond the limitations of form, to awaken to the light within, to trust in the truth of their own being. This is the beginning of their journey a journey not of seeking but of remembering, a journey that leads them not away from the world but into the heart of their own being. Through Mary, they see that the path to the divine is not a path of becoming but a path of being, a path that leads each soul back to the truth of its own light. <laughs> 